You it is good, you're it's your boy Ty back here with another video and in this video today guys we're going to be doing a complete breakdown of the new 23 NBA Series 2 domination in NBA 2K23 my team. Because look, I've said it before and I, and I won't say it again. I've always felt like in the past, domination has been a staple of my team. It's something that I've always said people should do as just that foundation. My opinion on it has definitely changed and I'll explain why. Now, before I dive any further into that, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, make sure you guys do smash that subscribe button as we're on the road to 110,000 subscribers. So here's the deal. If they would have made a good reward for domination, let's say Billy Knight or Mike Bantam was our domination reward, I would be up here in front of you guys saying it's probably worth doing because it's the level of like a KG type grind. Like, that's just my opinion, right? KG was obviously really good. It was a long grind easy offline grind and not not easy but easy enough offline grind that the, a, a lot of people could get it done domination on the other hand look is it easy enough yes but to me it's the lack of rewards right and i'm not trying to sit here and slander it but your main rewards are anthony edwards who is not even a top five shooting guard in the game a hall of fame eye badge option pack which pick five that's not really worth it and an amethyst coach Okay, all you, all, the only other things you get is you get a total of what? 210 tokens. You get a total of what? 18,000 MT and six domination diamond shoe packs. And I get it. You get, you know, 250 MT for each win. You get these players that are important if you want the series two collections. But I'm going to be honest with you guys. Unless you are completing all of these sets, I don't know why you would do it unless you're really going for collector level. It's not worth it. I don't know who needs to hear. If I can save one person the, the, the narrative of domination is worth the grind, then I'll do it. Because look, on this account, I grinded all of these dominations. And at least with this, it was early enough in my team in which trophy cases mattered. Like the, these trophies mattered at least a little bit. But again... I didn't even finish this because Bill Walton wasn't good. It's not like I got anything for 99 stars. It's not like I'm just glad. I, I'm just really glad I never did all-time domination. I'm really, really glad because it's just not worth it. Like domination used to be something that was a staple, a core of my team, right? That you just do. You get a ton of tokens. You get all these things to help your account. And sure, you might get tokens from doing it, but then you go into the token market and what are you going to do with the tokens? What what are you going to do? You get tokens. Congrats. There is absolutely nothing to do with them. And so that's the whole approach I'm trying to think about this as. I'm a Timberwolves fan, man. If anybody is to tell you guys that domination is worth the grind, it would probably be me. But I'm up here in front of you guys thinking, man, I, I don't even know how anybody could make the case it's worth it. Now, if you are trying, to, if let's say you're the biggest Anthony Edwards fan in the world and you're just trying to have fun playing my team, then sure, it might be worth it. But you guys got to take into consideration, it's going to take you guys about 15 to 20 hours to complete all of it. Sure, you can probably player lock your way through with all of the good players now in my team, but I'm just, take, I'm just taking the approach of it's probably not worth it. Again, you can probably play or lock your way through it. You can probably, you know, make some MT and get Anthony Edwards. But just play or lock. Literally, all you got to do is play or lock, walk away from your concert. You're probably going to win games. Like, as long as you have a good team, it's probably what's going to happen. But again, I just don't think I could recommend it. I think there's better ways to spend your time. Play or, your, play or lock your way through the first part of clutch time a bunch of times. And maybe you'll get lucky on the wheel and, and get the man with the plan. I mean, that that's just my perspective, Right. I'd rather you play or lock with a lineup like this, throw some more Evos in here, make that happen, and you're going to just have more success, right? I'm just going to do this, for example, okay? If you want to play or lock, this is what I would do. Throw Nas Reed out here, the power forward position. This is, this is that, again, take this with a grain of salt, but this is what I would do. Throw Nas out there, throw Taco out here, okay? And again, if, 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 this, is, if, if, if this is what you want to do for domination, I would do this but I would, I would, I would just do this in clutch time offline because you're gonna make way more MT and stuff like that compared to doing it in domination. Now again, I'd try to pair the Evos. I'd try to do all that. 
player lock on Landry Shaman, and you're probably going to get an easy enough matchup. Now, I'm just showing you guys this as just kind of saw us that if you want to grind domination, do this, right? The lineup you're going to play is horrible. You'll, you'll see, and I just kind of want to showcase it to you guys. Look, two Amis, you're going to play a gold and a, like, you're just going to get easy wins in that. And you can do the same thing in domination. Just go out there with your best squad. It's not like their lineup changes. But I'm just saying, there's no point of playing domination. Like, if you want easy, easy MT, easy grinds, and easy chance at the offline reward, just do that instead. I just don't see any way in which I can say domination is worth it. Like, I, I just don't. Anyway, for the first time, for the first year in a lot of years, there hasn't been one domination this year that's worth it. Now, maybe the shoe pack, you'll pull some good shoe boosts and stuff that sell for some MT. So, I mean, I guess that's the way I think about it. But I'd prioritize this last. Like, literally last. Like, if I'm you guys, I would do anything ahead of the domination grind. And that includes spotlight sim challenges for KG. That's these two-week challenges that, you know, are to come. I would really just prioritize this because the way I see it, there's not any way, and this is, again, coming from a Timberwolves fan, people should be gas in domination. I don't. You got to grind 33 games of boring domination for a card that I don't even know if he's a top 10 shooting guard in the game. If they would have just changed Ant's release and given him the KPJ base, maybe I'd be up here gassing it, saying it's worth it. But again, don't worry about domination, guys. Like... Domination, number one, is boring. Even if you like offline grinding, domination is boring. Number two, you, it's not like you get a vault after every one, right? If you got a vault or a chance at Billy Knight after each and every vault, sure, I'd maybe say it'd be worth it. But there's not anything to me that, that, that that's worth it in domination. Not anything. Ant's not worth it. The tokens aren't worth it. The MT's not worth it. The, the, the Ami coach isn't worth it. The Isle of Fame badges aren't worth it. There's nothing here that's worth it in domination. So let's say you just picked up the game today and you think, oh, I played in 2K17 and domination was worth it. Times have changed. Domination is literally basically worthless. Take it for what it's worth. Don't believe me. Waste your time grinding domination like I did. I literally basically played over 100 games of domination for no reason. Just keep that in the back of your minds when thinking about grinding for Anthony Edwards. Take it from me. I know what's worth it and what's not worth it, and this domination is absolutely horrible. Let me know your thoughts on it down below in the comments. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, man, I love you guys. Have a blessed day.